Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Alright, now one of the things you might notice right off the bat is that I actually have 24 of 30 people on my roster, so let me explain to you what I've done. Uh, I was doing a little bit of reading, and with some very simple modifications, you're actually able to change the stagecoach upgrade. So the, the level 5 upgrade, which I had already purchased, would take me to 20 on the roster. I've changed it to 30. Now, there's three reasons I did this. The first is that I wanted to be able to get more subscribers that have requested being on the team actually on the roster. Now, how much play they'll get or what have you will remain to be seen, but I wanted to be able to try to honor that. The second is I wanted to have enough room to experiment with different builds like, oh, something goofy like three plague doctors and a jester or, you know, or four lepers or, you know, four crusaders, things like that, that I haven't had the opportunity to do just to see. Um, you know, this game is still in early access, so now's the time to kind of experiment and really play around with things. The third, uh, but also equally important, is that since new characters are going to be released um, in the coming months, like for instance, the Houndmaster, the Master of Arms, the Arbalist, and so on and so forth, I wanted to be able to have room on the roster, because at that point I might have mostly level 5 or 6 characters, and I don't really want to dismiss them to bring on a new character class, I want to be able to experiment. So will, will this create problems later on? I'm not sure. Um, you know, when the, the game gets upgraded uh, automatically to a new build, will it affect the roster? I, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm just warning people that while this is relatively easy to adjust, whether or not it'll have an impact to your game, uh, or mine for that matter, down the road, it, it, you know, is unseen, okay? This is me modifying the, the game. So uh, if people are interested on how to do that, then I can put it in the comments. Um, or I can even put it in the description of the video if people want to know how to do it. But I'm just giving you fair warning, it might create problems. Um, to me, it was worth the risk because I'm experimenting with everything. I mean, there's times when I go out with groups that make no sense. Like, for instance, the last episode, I went out with no healer just to see what would happen. I'm not trying to play optimally, though I do think things are going relatively well. I'm trying to experiment, show you guys new things, and to have a little bit of fun, right? Because that's why we play games after all, right? Okay, so that being said... I did, I did look at your feedback, and, and I agree it's worth the risk to go after the Swine Prince, so that's what we're going to do. I have just enough gold, um, because I've already spent money on some upgrades, um, mostly armor upgrades for the group that I'm going to take. So who is going? Well, I'm going to take Copley and Kerrigan, two um, Hellions in the first and second rank, and then I strongly consider taking Rat in the third rank, but ultimately I decided I'm going to take Zero. So it's going to be two Hellions, a Jester, and then the last spot's going to be our new occultist, Morgan, who's been seeing a lot of action lately, and he's going back into the fray with us. Now, it's not absolutely optimal because some of the skills that I'd like to have, be it either combat skills and or camping skills, uh, I, don't, I just simply don't have the money to buy, for instance, on Morgan. Um, he could be optimized better for, for combat as well as healing, but I just don't have it to give. Um... But I'm going to go after the Swine Prince anyway. So let's take a look here. Let's double check our trinkets. And once we've done that, I can put the group together and we can head out. Oh, so Zero's not nearly as fragile now. I mean, he still has the, the negative quirk. But now that he's got level 3 armor, he's got 27 health using this uh, Hellstone trinket. So I feel a little bit better about that in terms of his viability. Okay, Kerrigan's set up with a Solar Bracer and Double-Edged Pendant. Okay, that's fine. Now let's get something for Copley. Well, let's give uh, Copley a Solar Bracer and maybe a Deteriorating Bracer on top of that. Or I could do plus 10 Bleed Resist so they can get healed. You know what? Maybe I'll do that. Actually, maybe I'll do that on both of them. And that max, uh, this max HP is nice, but then you lose the uh, stun resist stuff. Light resist, bleed resist. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to set them both up this way. So a little less crit, but more durable. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that gives them both... Both 20 dodge, which is respectable. Gives them a little bit of extra crit. 
uh, and it reduces the chance that they're going to be bled. So they have 70% bleed resist, which is good considering who the healer is, right? Yeah, since we've got Morgan doing the healing, and then he's got 16% less chance to bleed because of this uh, cleansing crystal, so that ought to work out pretty well. Yeah. Should be okay. Uh, also, I wanted to show you some of the upgrades. I'll just take you through real quick. So in the guild, because I did have a bunch of the crests and I have been spending them. Uh, we've got uh, up to rank three in guild uh, skills. I, I want to do the training regimen re cost reduction, but since portraits seem to be hard to come by and I need them to actually upgrade the actual instructory mastery, I've been holding off on that. In the blacksmith, however, uh, I do have up to rank 2 and up to rank 3 in armor smithing. So, 1 and 3, weapon smithing and armor smithing respectively. And then I've almost capped out the cost reduction, so I've spent a ton of, of uh, crests over here to do that. As well as, and I guess I didn't show it last episode, but I thought I had, um... I spent uh, a ton of crust to upgrade the merchant network to reduce the cost on the nomad wagon here. So we'll uh, we'll check these every time, every week that we cycle through just to see what's available. And if I ever have extra cash, then we will uh, snag some additional trinkets. So because someone had mentioned, you know, hey, you should spend your your crests and whatnot. Yeah, I I uh, I have been. Um, let's take a look at the abbey. So, the Cloister, uh, Trasbet, and Penton's Hall. Uh, I, I guess I could upgrade these more, but I really haven't had a big problem managing stress, which is the only reason why I haven't increased these. Uh, in terms of the Sanitarium, I'm almost completely upgraded. I just get this one last spot. In terms of the Tavern, I've got four, one, and nothing. Now, this I actually think I should upgrade, the survivalist, because there's camping skills that I need, and I just found out from someone that even though it's listed as only three can go uh, into a dungeon, you can actually take four camping skills. I'll have to check that out, because that was pretty awesome. Um, but they're really, really, like, exorbitantly expensive, like 2,000 for one skill. So I think I'm going to start upgrading this as well so that I can get, you know, more optimal camping skills. So this is probably where my crests are going to be going uh, towards going forward. All right. Having said all that, let's go ahead and set up for this run into the dungeon here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see. You have Iron Swan. You do have Iron Swan. Okay, so let's not have you have the stun. Let's pick up Iron Swan. Yep, and you can be in the first spot. Hopefully you can be in the second spot. Zero's in the third. Morgan's in the fourth. Okay, let's do this. Okay, 12 torches ought to be enough. Couple bandages. One anti-venom. One medicinal herb. Two skeleton keys, a holy water, and a bunch of food. Oh, and we need some shovels. Grab a little more food. Okay. <laughs> we spent like every dime. Well, I don't want to go in and not have enough resources, right? So this ought to be good. Let's do it. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. All right, let's take a look. Uh, let's see. So generally, they're at the furthest point away from you. At least that's my understanding, so probably over here somewhere. So if we go over and up, we could do this. We could say we could go like this, over, 
down, over, and then kind of clear this side, hoping that we run into him. And then if not, we're still not backtracking, right? We're still moving forward, technically. So we could go like, tick, 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 like around like that. Yeah, it seems reasonable. I feel that you're with me on this. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, okay, here we go. Well, they got the jump on us, huh? You know what? We're gonna heal. Healed for zero. All right. Let's do yup. Actually, I didn't even need to do that. They already did. Well, it doesn't matter. Party buff. Old habits die hard, I guess. If it bleeds. There we go. I mean, I guess it's good. We're going to the next round and they can't do anything. So, let's see. As the fiend falls, there we go. A faint hope blossoms. Try another heal. Heal for one. Okay, so heal for zero, then heal for one. Nah. Press this advantage. Get Give it them no quarter. Get it together. Get it together, Morgan. I need you to do better than that. What do we got here? Gambler's Charm. Plus 15% damage if you're below 25 health. Plus 8% protection. Minus 8% death blow resist. Uh. Hmm. It's kind of a mixed bag, isn't it? The light, the promise of safety. All right, go ahead and open it. Okay, could do without the trap. By foul invention. Oh, hello. Oh, we gotta take care of this guy quick. These guys in the back, particularly this guy that does the vomit stuff. So let's see, how do we want to do this? You know what? Pull vomit boy forward. There we go. Buff the party. Okay, you, Iron Swan, this guy, nice, and you, yop these dudes, hmm, You know what, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this guy, which will reduce his dodge. I mean, he's, well, actually, he's got a dodge of zero. Will it take him negative? I don't know. Let's see. I mean, technically it will. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh... Go ahead and kill this guy. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Here we go. All right, now the big threats are down. Good. Executed with impunity. Very nice. Okay, let's grab a heal. There we go. Morgan remembered how to do it. Buff. Okay. As victories mount, so too will resistance. So far, so good. Oh, we need space already? Really? Um. Well, hmm. 
I guess get rid of the anti-venom. Let's keep rolling. Ah, with the traps already. Come on. Dinner cart. Well, this is just going to give us more food. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I guess we don't have to worry about food then. That's nice. Grab some more light. I was kind of hoping we'd get a scout off here at some point. Yeah, ho, 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 there we go. Ask and ye shall receive. Aha, so he's down here. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and head down there and go for the main fight. Uh, and, uh, you know, if we're, if we're successful, which hopefully we will be, then we'll make a decision about how much more of this dungeon we want to do. We have any combat stuff? Yeah, we do, actually. Camping skills that would help us. Monster size 2 plus 20% damage. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so we'll probably camp right before the fight then. Seems like a good plan. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Grab some more light. Eat. Aha! Okay, we gotta take these guys out in the back. Okay, so let's grab Mr. Vomit. There we go. Okay, yop these guys. Buff. Okay, this guy might... Yeah, he's going to get off his stress thing, but that's okay. It's all right. He'll be dead next turn. Slice off. Or harvest. How many points you got left? Nine, huh? Let's try slice off. I resisted the bleed, huh? Okay, fair enough. Hmm. What's weak in this guy? Dodged? What? All right, take this guy out. Okay, good, he missed. Okay, now, let's see if we can't take care of him. Very good. Uh, let's try to weaken him. There we go, good. Off the group. Oh, nice! 30 crit. Kriya! La 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 la! <laughs> okay, and... How many points you got left? 21? Okay. I was gonna go for a stun, but we can go ahead and put some work in on him. Let's grab a heal. There we go. These nightmarish creatures oh, wow. can be felled. They can be beaten. Let's see. Um, well. We're gonna get full torchlight anyway, but whatever. I wanna make space here. Right gains purchase. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. I'm not gonna use this thing, so. Yeah, it's gambler's charm. I don't see myself using it, so let's get rid of that. Grab the cress. I don't need that. Open this. 
Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Okay, so do we go down and do this fight and then backtrack? Yeah, that is what I'm going to do. Yep, glad I did now, because we're going to pick up extra stress from these stupid vomit guys. Okay, you, come here. Dodge? What? Mortality mm. clarified in a single strike. Well, almost killed him. Okay, stun these guys. Buff. How do I want to do this? I think weaken these guys. Finish him. Grab this guy. Nope. Okay. There we go, dead. Yeah, we're picking up a bunch of stress from this, but we'll be okay, because we're going to backtrack and camp. There we go, nice crit. Buff yourself up. Grab a heal. And dead guy. This expedition at least promises success. Critical stone, plus one crit, minus one speed. Yeah, that's I don't care about that. That's not a very good trinket in my opinion. Knife rack is bandage? No, no, don't, don't do it. Don't, ugh, oh, darn it. Okay, well, we're gonna back up. Okay, now let's camp. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Okay, so let's see. We need to heal up. So wound care here. Alright, so almost full. Now, sharpened spear plus 10% crit. We'll take that. Plus 10% accuracy plus 20% damage against a size 2 monster, which I think the Swine Prince is. So we'll grab that. Now, reject the gods. Nope, don't need to do that. 27, 29, okay, what do you have here? Reduce all pain and stress, increase 1 by 20. Okay, so how much is that reject the gods? It only costs 1? Okay, so we could do this trade-off. We could say, alright. Uh, increase yours. Reduce everyone else's. And then you can use Reject the Gods. There we go. Did that work out how I wanted? I guess it did. Let's see. Reduce stress by 25. No. Anything else? Pep talk? Stress resist. Yeah, let's put stress resist on you. I don't want you to gain anymore.
So we'll have full light coming out of here. Still have plenty of torches. Got tons of food. We're, we're in good the match shape. is struck. A blazing star is born. Now, of course, this is all predicated on... Can we kill this wine prince? <laughs> Never fought him, so I don't know. Okay, let's just max out the light. In radiance, may we find victory. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's definitely size 2. 132 health. Holy crap, man. So you mark for him, huh, Wilbur? Okay. Well, let's do likewise and lower the guy's dodge. Uh, nah, buff. Not gonna be able to stun this guy, right? Nah, 100% stun resist. Okay, well... Let's start smacking him. 30 crit, nice! Ooh, okay. Wow, he hits hard. Okay, more buffing. Okay, heal yourself. 14, not bad. Okay, that's good, he missed. That was great. Uh, about halfway there. Grab another heal. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Keep buffing. Okay, eight. That was me. Okay, we're all right. Okay, grab a heal. Yes, awesome. Okay, eight. How much has he got left? Twenty three. 14, okay. Wow. Ooh. Cannot be left unanswered. That wasn't good. Damn it. Life wasted in the pursuit of glory. <sighs> wow. Well. Let's see if we can finish this. There goes the Swine Prince. What terrible RNG, right? Get single hit for all the health and then one shot? That sucked. But... Looks like we're gonna win the fight. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, I... Let's see. Get rid of this. Oh, that. I want this. And we can get rid of that. Pick up this. Uh, you know what? Swap the food. There we go. Close. Man. Oh, it was almost a perfect run. I don't even know what to do about that. That's like, ah, uh, darkest dungeon for you, I guess. Laden with loot, are often low on supplies. Well, do I want this protection stone? Uh, well, maybe we could swap it for those bandages. I guess. This is this worth five hundred? We don't need any more food. So we can take that. Because I'm leaving right now. I'm not going to stay in here, obviously. And we'll swap out the torches because you don't get to keep anything. All right, let's go. Oh, man, I was so excited about it being like a perfect run. 
Ah, oh, man. Still pretty good, though. We'll, we'll do a high five. We're not gonna we're not gonna circle around everybody. Just like psh, like a half. It's like a habsy. Psh, like a hyph. Two and a half. <laughs> oh, sorry, Kerrigan. Go level three on Copley. Dud hitter minus three crit below fifty percent health. Ruins explorer. Nocturnal above light seventy five minus two speed. We'll have to get rid of that. And wield tactician plus fifty percent damage. Okay. Okay, so we've defeated the Apprentice Necromancer, the Swine Prince, and the Wazened Hag. So I guess the Necromancer's next on the list, huh? Okay. Well, I know that we lost Kerrigan, which was unfortunate, but I hope that you did enjoy this episode, and if you did, please do consider hitting that thumbs up button. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.